Welcome to Betting the Breeders' Cup presented by FanDuel. It is time for the big one, the crown jewel of the two days, the $6 million Longines Breeders' Cup Classic. Going the classic distance of a mile and a quarter as we take a look at the morning line odds presented by FanDuel and Arabian Night for Bob Baffert, who holds the record with most wins in this race with four, is your three to one morning line favorite. We bring you to our set around the first turn here at Santa Anita. Brittany Ayrton alongside Nick Luck. And it's not the last race of the day, but we're going to build up to some really big excitement for this classic, which in my opinion appears quite wide open. Oof, I suppose it depends on which way you look at it. I, I guess the obvious place to start now with a few notable defections is with Arabian Knight, who is you know, locally trained by Bob Baffert, has earned rave reviews from him, has the pedigree, has the price tag. Now he's starting to put together performance as well. This was a good performance in the Pacific Classic, but you rather felt that he had the run of the race under quite a cute ride. He is moving forward. He's perhaps open to the most potential. Does he have the best form this season? Not if you take Waita Barrio's last run, literally. Mm -hmm. What I want to know from Matt and Edzo is, who is Waita Barrio these days? <laughs> I mean, that's the million-dollar question, or the $6 million sure. question in this case, because to Nick's point, look, the pace of the race, Saudi Crown's going to go, okay. Arabian Night's just off. I want to stop you right there. Yeah. So you believe Saudi Crown is able to keep up with Arabian Night the first, what, quarter mile out of the gate? Uh, no question. You do? Absolutely. Okay, and that's how the, you figure that it would, the race would be run in if, front if, of the If you flip the, the post time. positions, yeah. if you had Arabian Knight inside, maybe they're more aggressive. Okay. I think they're going to be content sitting okay. just off of Saudi Crown. Then you've got White Abario, who, I mean, the elephant in the room. He's a big gray horse. If he runs back to the Whitney at Saratoga, everybody else is running for second. Far and away the what best race distance for him. That, that would I'm be not my convinced. question. I'm not convinced okay. about a mile and a quarter. Okay. Right. I hope they end up going a little faster than maybe they want. Right. And it sets up for the Dubai World Cup winner, Ushba Tesoro, coming from a little bit farther back. Well, I, since Matty, uh, we, we put up I, only I got four you. Look, there, I'll so. help you. Oh, oh well, perfect. Uh, I've been on Proxy's bandwagon pretty much all season long. Uh, and, and, and Arabian Night. And I think he needed his last yeah. two races to set up for this race. But... I think Proxy with Joel Rosario will be able to follow the 12 out of the gate, get some good position. Look at the quicker they go, the much better to be is because the horse is proven here at Santa Anita and I think has that ability for the last three eighths of a mile to really turn and churn. And look at, I, I don't know if I'm going to get 12 to one, but if I do, uh, I'm betting with both hands because I, I really like this horse because I, I do see a speed duel, but I think Arabian Knight is quicker than them all. Now, how far can he carry it and how hard is he going to get pressed? That's the question as a handicapper. So I'm kind of to the outside. Truth be told, he is one of the horses in here that has the fewest question marks. Mm -hmm. The distance isn't a problem. The track's not a problem. He's shown might recently. Be might be better going a mile and a quarter. 100%. Right? And that he can be a little bit closer than sort of dropping out the back and coming with one run. So, look, I don't think you're crazy at all. And a lot of people are with you on proxy. Uh, what do you mean a lot? I mean, I think I think he's a little little wise guy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right. You're not going to get 12 to one. <laughs> one wise That's guy to means. another. Okay. Guys, <laughs> Matt, right. Matt Edzo, I, I want to ask you, just go back, scroll back through your mind and the, and the Breeders' Cup Classics you've seen run at this track at Santa Anita. Do they really melt? Does the pace really melt habitually here? No. I mean, no. It, again, and really, that goes back to the idea that here I am saying, you know, Saudi Crown, maybe the distance is a little bit of a concern. Arabian Knight, he's going to have to okay, run faster. Okay, so let me stop you this right could there. Be, this could be a two-speed number. But I think, but you know, you're right. But, but I think the teaching point is here, is, 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 is Nick is asking, well, look, at if, if we think or handicappers think you are going too quick and you have a question on whether or not these horses can be able to carry it with going every step of the way, nose and nose, all of a sudden, I mean, at some point, the lactic acid is going to set in and you're going to start seizing up. And all of a sudden, here comes the horses from behind. So that's what I'm hoping for, Nick, because I'm telling you right now, I, I am going to be all over proxy. And, and that's what I'm banking on is that they do go quick. And even look at even if I think if it works out the way that I'm handicapping and I think the 12 gets to the front, I still believe that proxy has the ability to be close and make a little bit of a push. So I'll be boxing everything with the 12, 13, 13, 12. Tell you what, Edzo, my lactic acid was on the rise <laughs> just on the walkover from the parking lot. <laughs> and with that, FanDuel, get involved. It's the only sportsbook app where you can bet the Breeders' Cup. And right now, new customers can get a no-sweat win bet up to $200. What does that mean? Well, you'll get up to $200 back if the horse you pick to win doesn't win. So download the FanDuel app and bet the Breeders' Cup today.